and he might just uh -oh. get around the backside of Mystic, who's currently in his astral form, but on board with the mid play, they are through a garage, and they're trying to wrap around the seaside from the other side. Up through B, they go, Magnum for one, runs out of ammo, and Russ able to trade out one for one. So currently it is Fnatic who were down a player, but that kill from Brave puts them back into the 3v3. Planted. A little bit sad not to see Russ on the sky, for example. I understand completely why, but some of the best games I've seen from Guild have been Russ on the sky. And that is not the Australian bias in any way, shape, or form. Good shots from Durker, and of course, safe. Not so safe now as he gets popped off by Brave, and it just means happen. And Guild, they're quite happy to let Fnatic get this player down. They love their retakes, win conditions. That's on the board for them, but they have the weapons to do it now. Yeah, Fnatic could be very happy about getting a free plant out of this, considering the weapons they've got. Uh, it's extra cash for the next round at least, and now they're trying to hold on for the round win, but great play. That gravity wall pulls him into the fight. Dirk then easily eliminated by Rust. They tap the spike, and so that's going to create a little bit of chaos now for Fnatic, as they are worrying that defuse is coming through. It's not being stuck right now. Trex and Rust getting the picks, and Brave sends a shot guards in. Everybody's going down. Magnum able to get one from the grave onto Cold Dementor, but it will be getting potential nukes and crannies in this sea site. It's about to become a real bloodbath in this site as that rotation is starting to come back in from Guild. Russ, he's found the first. Durka is the first victim of play. Magnum able to oh, make quick work of the follow-up, and Mystic will do the same. So Fnatic, they've got the advantage now. Spike will start to be planted. This time they can commit to it comfortably. In the fact, they've got so much space to play with, they can drop back into some post plants. And this just increases the difficulty of the round win here for Guild, who have to play retake, and they don't really have a lot of control no utility set up just to deal with this one. Oster's trying to be neutralized, but right now he doesn't even care oh. if he just doesn't get the kill, but he still does. He's all about buying time in that position to try to keep killed away from it, but he's found a kill even. Now follow up from Leo. It's safe and Leo. I've got it into the 2v2. No pressure for Fnatic. Ult is taken away. Leo will tap again. They know they're not sticking it, and Brave will take down both. Fantastic play from Fnatic in the post plan weaker weapons so they've got their forces back over here are they really going to be able to pull off the retake though they send the shot guns in oh. the blade storm up from safe but a big flick up from durka has taken down his head you know that can often be a play you have to expect when that blade storm has popped on the other side of things and now we look to the five versus four advantage with fanatic as they hold down the site even there some counter utility there comes the retake attempt that's what you look for. You just want to make sure that you pop out every bit of utility in unison there, and that is the goal here Ooh. for Guild. Trek somehow, some way with the pistol in hand. It means that he's going to have to be able to hit more, but it's just not enough. And whilst Leo has the weapon, it's a 1v1. No time left. He can at least try and take out Mystic should he want, but Mystic's already booked it down, eh, main? And he's out. Yeah, fantastic work there from Guild to do that amount of damage, but Fnatic... Take Very important part of holding this back. That's a nice little combo there. We saw the Rolling Thunder in unison to be able to clap back, but the Rolling Thunder, it's able to do the damage they need to be able to evade it for just a second. A 3v3. Bosa still gets the plant down. I think that was a great response there from Leo once they'd heard the util coming out. They needed to be able to crush it before it was able to make that crushing blow. Yeah, now Guild, they're all coming in from the same avenue. They're all coming in from the same position. Boaster throws in the Rolling Thunder just to try and commit to this one. Russ coming back in. Boaster's down first, but Durka, with that Blade Storm, able to deliver some damage. And now we have to look to Leo and Cold Dementor to get back into the side. Oh, Durka right through, commits to the right click. And now it's just Leo left. Diving down towards Short. Brave will eliminate him. Everyone was doing it. Everyone thought that that was the prime way to play. And it's clear that both of these teams now think it's going to be one of the key parts of their composition. Durka moves on up. Just one for him. Leo able to come away with a double. Cold Dementa getting involved as well. Cold Dementa doubles up and sets up the platform for Russ's headshot. Moment, no really utility to hold off on the flank. This is something that Guild could work with instead. They're taking these front on fights and as a result now, popping out the Hunter's Fury doesn't really get much for it, but Mystic on the other side will get his own. 30 seconds left. Here we go, spike down. And given an opportunity now for Shave to show us his skills. We don't want to see him play safe, we want to see him play absolutely monstrous. He saw a player, and as another Cosmic Divide comes out, Trex, he goes oh. nuclear, he's on site, no weapon, no bullets left. And he will take out Boaster, pulls out the pistol, and we have asked... Thrown through the garage. He comes to lockdown in, and oh, Leo, he's actually been able to take out Brave early. 
So Fnatic down a player and have to do it in difficult mode and it just gets even more difficult as they move forward. Leo goes into the fight and Guild caught inside of the lockdown. That gives a chance to Magnum, but it's only a slither as Trex is able to take him out. Fnatic slither away with a spike plant at a minimum. And there's still so much to do in this round and Fnatic will try and do as much damage as they can, of course, with this game being so back and forth. The economy Oof. hasn't grown for Guild and now <gasps> Mystic just lets them dive on by. It's one, it should have been too clean. Unfortunately for Mystic, there's just too many players coming this way. He will be cleaned up, but a decent bit of damage on the way out, and Fnatic also get the plan. They had it in the last round against some weaker weapons. Now they're trying in some of the better guns, and it's worked out for Cold Immense up. He's stuck around. Now Boaster rapidly racing to try and get that trade back, but he won't get there in time. And so Fnatic will have to play with a man deficit. It's just followed up as well Ooh. because Safe was holding to- Attacking players on other sites in case they do choose to do that. But for whatever reason, Fnatic, they always love to commit to whatever site that they've already oh. thrown utility on. And that's the second Bladestorm with today we've seen. But the flash came out and that's what happens. And that is the first time we have seen- Expensive to run this and oh, Safe is going to drop back. Gets caught. And now Fnatic sending their forces heavy towards C. Three players start here at long. Cold Amenta has come in with the first kill again, but it's a Rolling Thunder being sent out by Boaster. He's been able to remove Cold Amenta with the Aftershock, and he's now taken to the site. So Fnatic, we're going to get that spike down. It is the flank play you have to be aware of inside of B right now. Durka, are they reading this? They will. They start to turn towards him. At least one for Durka, but here comes the Rolling Thunder on the other side of things to try and get Guild back in for the retake. A three versus two make it done oh my because God. Guild are just so clinical on the retake. AJ, I haven't seen him have a huge impact thus far, but again, a lot of the impact for the supportive players throughout all of today has been util, has been the ability to play off other teammates. Let us not forget that Guild's best side on Haven is their attacking side, and they've already done fabulously on their defense. A big kill from Durka. Although caught in position, so just go for one now. Call him and Rust decide to step up with some frags to their own, and Boaster realizes he's being shot from all sides, and he has to really dig deep to try and fortify his position. He comes out with one, but it's just Magnum left. And a clutch of this magnitude, well, it just doesn't look like it's going to be happening. Magnum with the first. So much more to find here for Magnum. In a good position, they can double swing, and because of that, it is too much to handle. Magnum goes down, first nails in the coffin of Fnatic. It certainly makes things feel very comfortable for Guild. If you take a bonus round, within the second half will already be up. And that kill, that's certainly helping matters out. Safe with a follow-up. Spike isn't even down yet, but already they stand with two players to the good. And Fnatic have to try and find their way back in here. Safe goes for a little bit of an overextension into Boaster. That's going to cost him his life. As Durka begins to wrap around, he's not going to read this position Aww. of Rust. That's an easy kill for the Spectre. And now it's just Boaster and Brave left alone as they all topple. This could be a very convincing round for Guild. Already has been, but Brave, is there anything in the tank? Can he do some damage on the way out at least? Found one headshot. A lot of the recon boarding and he wrapped around from the other side. Brave just trying to fight every direction. <laughs> Nano Swarm on the spike for the time being as well. And Brave down to six eventually will get caught as 10 rounds now read for Guild, and that's... Here comes the Rolling Thunder. It's gonna put too much pressure on the defense to be able to hold this. Fnatic have cracked already this defense. We'll see if it holds water on the retake. Certainly didn't on the initial hold as they decide to set up what will have to be a C retake. Fnatic have certainly got the weapons to do it. Cosmic Divide is up for Guild, holding them back for the time being, and that is allowing Safe just to play in and around it, causing problems. The Operator now goes into the open, and Ross just takes down two. It's only Brave left, and it's a 1v4 for him. We know he's the new kid on the block. Exciting prospect, but not much found at all. 12 to 5, Guild with a statement in this first map. They are looking to try and close this in a 13 5 fashion, and they have the best opportunity to do that because look at Fnatic's buy here, Jess. It has nothing to write home about at all. Safe says, I want to get into site, I want to get in quick. I can dash over the Nana Swarm and that he will do. And now that he has access to site, they have to hit the shots. This is Fnatic's best chance and no, it's gone. Mystic can't hold on. Well, Safe able to take two down tracks. This one onto Magnum. Boaster and Brave into the 2v2. This is certainly winnable for Fnatic. In fact, it is now favoring the Fnatic side. It's called Amenta, thrust into the one versus two. He begins his wrap around. He knows the Brave is around here. Easy execution. The turns. So he thinks, what? What about A? Maybe that's an opportunity for me. And as he places down his stars, surely Boaster has heard this. He can hear the spike being planted. He knows it's not on B. And as he has to make his way over, he has utility to play with here. This is the great thing. 
out of all the players on the side of Fnatic right now, he has that rolling thunder. He has a flash to play with as well. If he plays this smart, he can do this. He has the fault line. Rolling thunder alongside of it. They start to wrap around. Cold Dementor ships in the night as he transfers over towards the garage. There goes the gravity wall. Bosch is looking the wrong way, but he's got into the corner. And that's going to be a comfortable angle for him to hold for the time being. But now Cold Dementor's moved into the he fight. Tap spawned. again. Oh, he's betting out Cold Dementor now locked in and swings for the head. It's like Boaster love to use the Ooh. utility. They use it very smartly. And uh oh, this is what we talk about when we wanted the teamwork last map. We wanted the double team for Fnatic and they've given it to us. Yeah, great. Clearance, great uh, knowledge to check that, but they've gone straight through the TP here at Gilda, straight on towards the A site. Rotation in from heaven for Fnatic, they have one player up there, but it's going to be a long time until Boaster comes together with Mystic. They're very far away from each other as Boaster starts oh, no. that flank from around the back side. Snakebite removes Mystic, and now just Boaster. His flank is now being spotted, but he's clean on the first headshot. Flash available as well on that guiding light online, but he has so many positions that he has to check. He doesn't have control of lamps, he doesn't have control of showers, he has to clear everything out. Flash up for the peak, he's just worried about every angle right now as they have doubled up. They have got such advantage in this two versus one, but Boaster cleans the head of one and finds the other. Boaster with the highlight pistol as Fnatic needed a good start. It's Boaster that leads him through, he gets to the defuse and he will pull it. Strong after losing their map pick. Oh, Durka, confident play into showers this time. Trailblazer gets the information and they double no. swing, but that means they double line up as Durka takes two. We hate to see the collapse, especially with a damn bulldog. And, ooh, oh yeah. Oh, we like that last bullet dink to the head though. That's what we like. Yeah, this, this bulldog has rabies. Another kill coming through and he wants a little bit more. He's hunting him down. No. And he's found four picked up. He goes back. He might just get all five. Leo able to come on back in. And that's two already picked up. He coming back at him and he's a good shot. Let us not get it wrong. The first map was excellent from Leo, but he's out of time. Uh, he is, but uh, at this point, no. <laughs> Leo's gonna try and do what he can, but the, the thing in there is, you know, Fnatic may not have seen the spike and then I love it. There, Look at there that. we go. Look at that. Yeah. The man doesn't even need two hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go, what? Long play. Safe is one. Mystic able to trade it out, but Safe is having a pretty good start here. He's found two. And that is going to give Gil the advantage into a gun round that is so important for them. And start to look towards B-Long. Aggressive play from Brave. I don't know if this is really going to work out for him. He goes to the tap, but gets cleaned out. Safe with three. Now Magnum and Durka left in the 2v4. It's just Durka left. He's found one. Trex has had gone, and maybe, just maybe, switch to the Bulldog, though. There's his chance it's gone, Jess. When you pull out the Vandal, yep. no shot. No. You just keep the Bulldog. I have no... Oh, he's going to have to get rid of the recon there. They know where he is, and of course, he's moving out of position in Leo rather than taking that gun. Deal with it. Oh, he might just have the perfect oh, position. <laughs> Look at that. Sneaky. Around the backside. Magnum easily takes that one. Durka, double kill on the showstopper. I'm really starting to see that Ray's nightmare begin again for Guild. Gold Dementor and Leo starting to run their way back over towards B. Trying to get the spike down, tapping Cold Dementors under a lot of pressure. There's pain shells made it uncomfortable, and now Durka swinging into the fight. It's a third kill for Durka, and not enough time to get back to the spike. That is it done. For well, Trex sending out his Viper's Pit. Magnum tries, you know, uh, it's a cheeky <laughs> pit. He hasn't fallen for this one at all. Guild now dived their way through. Space has been taken by Safe, who has tailwinded his way into the site. And Boaster, unfortunately, not a single kill for him on the defense. Mystic's turn, and it's just one. Again, it's Brave's turn at the back of the site. He has to hold for Fnatic, and they can only manage one each. So it's Durka, the talisman of the team. The absolute animal that has delivered some incredible rounds already. Has to try and clutch this one out. They see him, they know exactly where he is, and he will get wrapped on. Leo with the kill, and Guild finally. Guild, because they put a couple of rounds on the board. Magnum wants to follow by putting bodies on the board, and oh, as Russ falls, and Safe is unable to give chase for the but he's gonna have to hit the best shots of his life right now on to side. He's caught with a hawk out in hand and he's just gonna have to roll on out as side is now freely guilds. They had 10 seconds to play with. Imagine they could have denied. But unfortunately it won't be it. And as the ulti comes out, I've got your trail. And it looks like they're gonna be able to get on the side nice and quickly just to meet their demise and hit the funeral very quickly there, Dinko.
Yeah, very, very quickly indeed. Magnum and Brave will try their best, but, you know, Guild having a great time. And this is honestly very impressive from Guild. The fact they were able to turn a 4v5 deficit into a round win here in that quick succession is the decisiveness on the call. Obviously, get a little lucky with how Fnatic actually decided to rotate off at the wrong time, but it's the fact that Guild can turn that around and end it so convincingly with no map control. Magnum could do a lot of damage here, though. Oh no, there's no way he doesn't get away with a kill there. That is a little unfortunate for Magnum. He will get away. But Fnatic, unfortunately, will not get away with that round. It's Guild up to three. Guild currently positioned and posture towards B, but the call to actually unleash upon the site is still yet to be made. They're trying to put utility in the spot right now. Here comes the Hunter's Fury coming through from Brave just to try and keep them back and dispel any attack. In fact, also trying to pick up some info of their positions. Leo with some skills just dodges that one. Here comes the Seekers in from Guild. That's the signal to go. Mystic's got one before the Mentor quick to reply. And now we're at the 4v4. The Equilibrium still established up until the point where Boaster perishes. And now we're looking at the 4v3. The flank of Durka is everything for Fnatic. And it's got one. He's back to the trusty Bulldog. And he's delivered his first kill. Magnum's able to follow up, and now it's just Trex and Russ who have to do the impossible, which is pull this one off, and they haven't put the spike down, it's just Trex in it. <gasps> Trex will try, and he will certainly get himself in a position to win this one. Flicks down the boom bot, will be eliminated, left. but does he know? Does he even think about the Magnum push-up? No ammo left, reload being picked up, confirming the position of Trex, who has to think about every position his opponent could currently be in. And now starts to think about the wrap around the back of the side. He's about to walk around the back side. Ships in the night looking the right way. Magnum walks away. He comes back and the kill is his. Oh, that has a game of inches. Oh, Magnum. Currently hiding Ooh, inside of the toxic cloud. Nearly gets away with a chance. That looked like he wanted to go. Boaster's seen Dark. So we'll see if they can get this one done. Yeah, that's an easy confirmation, Guild. They have to move quickly. Now that Mystic's position has been given up, Safe wanted to be able to take him out, but it looks like Mystic was too quick to the trigger. And I said they needed to be quick because the rotate would be quick, but Mystic's gun and trigger finger is quicker. And as he takes out a third for the trouble, it's an opportunity now for Fnatic to be able to put a crushing blow in on Trex and give us a flawless round. As that was a very good hold from Mystic. Yeah, much better for Fnatic, starting to maybe read guild's motives and game plan here in these rounds and they don't get a lot of control towards showers into a bay they often almost just get forced into a b hit fanatic has started to adapt to that tracks up event the flawless but they will win the round Actually spotting some information decides to drop back into elbow here comes the cosmic divide up and that is going to be for fanatic save gets aggressive and catches the head of boaster so the first kill of play will go in guild's hands Viper's Pit extended deep here for Guild, and that's going to be massive just to give him a good bit of control. Riz's health ticking down now with that decay, and Magnum coming through Hookah. He's going to read the position, but Russ comes away with one and two. Finally finds some impact here, Russ, and it's just Mystic and Brave left. One kill for Mystic. Sorry. The ticking of that uh, spike always gets me because especially and they're looking to even it out and speaking of even it out Julius v Julius looks like safe one to even out the KD of Durka oh good aggressive play from Mystic really trying to make that trade happen he's able to get one but immediately traded out so therefore guild still hold the advantage and Fnatic have the outside beat control, but this time it is Guild who turned their attentions towards A. They're about to have an empty site, no problem. An advanced setup from Trex as well. Boaster could go through that snake bite with the flash and try and catch him off, but Trex is ready for his tricks. It's Magnum and Brave. As well. Yeah. I wonder deep. what the intention was. Was someone in spawn? Was someone there to collect them? That's why they sent a recon out as well. Grab well to just it's taking them a little bit to get into the hang of and uh oh defensive aggression here. Met with a lot of offensive aggression as well. Yeah, Durka, you can't avoid him when he's on the attacking side. He comes to you, so finally gets back to his winning ways, the finding kills. Up to 18 now. He didn't finish on the 20 because he avoided him entirely. 3v4. Brave and Cold to duel back and forth to establish those numbers. Good kill from Boaster, who had a big pistol in that first half, if you remember. He finds Cold Amenta in this one. And now the spike goes to the empty B site. So we have to look to Guild for a retake immediately at the start of the second half. This time just a 2v4. So it's not looking great here for Guild. It would take a monumental effort. In particular, Russ needs to find his first kill. 
and he won't be able to do that. Leo, opportunity. Leo could snatch his way back into this one. Taps the spike, trying to draw them into the open. Position confirmed, but can't take down Durka, who gets a 3k in the pistol. Charging their way towards A. No secrets about which site they want to hit with Fire and Fury in this round. They're coming straight out of Lamps. It's one kill on the safe. His Lamps are knocked out, but Leo able to come back in and saves two. So those kills back puts Killed into the man advantage. Fnatic still forced their way into the plant. But Killed and the retake will feel good about this. They have got the player advantage. Spotted Mystic Trossing. Unfortunately for Mystic, doesn't take that opportunity. So now Boaster with much more pressure on his shoulders. He's going into his lamps. They know that he's in this position. Has got the flash online and Brave alongside of him with the shock darts. Tap after tap onto the spike. It looks like Boaster's caught the chance, but Ross turns back and hits the headshot. Flash to keep Brave back. What's oh, he's found one and he's got the bolt going through as well. The recon up to try and figure out where Coldamenta is. He's creeping closer, ever so closer, but Brave with a headshot! That is massive for Fnatic! It looks- He's scribbling each other in this entire set of groups. And if they are, they are crazy. That is so- They've got everybody gathering over here right now. We'll see if Guild is the rotation out there in time. Tracks this just caught the start of Toxic Cloud. He has no other option but to die through that TP. And he gets caught by Durka, who's on the other side of it. When they're staying his uh, Hunter's Fury in. Try and clear out and make some space here for Fnatic to move in with the Execute. They're in the site. The problem is Leo's here now, and a no well to pick up one. Can't recover, his boaster will spam him down. Now call the mentor and save for 2v4. Not only that, but it's a retake really scenario with an operator. And now just save. Yeah, you can't win this round. I don't expect out of any team in this entire league. So much wonders for you, just mentally. It fires up the team, a good start into the game. Really gets you going. And Guild, to be honest, they've only been in this game for a few rounds. Yeah. You know, it haven't really even looked competitive in a lot of these now. So, Fnatic looking very, very convincing. And it's been a pretty top-heavy scoreboard, but a couple of moments from pretty much everybody now at this point. And came off of pistols alone. Ross absolutely eating every single bit of utility that he has to, and Durka will get him through the wall anyway. He had nowhere to go. And even though he put out his ultimate there, he tried everything to keep them at bay, and now they're locked in ho hookah, hoping that Guild can smoke them, but they, well, they're not getting that, and I think we're looking ever so closer to the down the barrel of a third map here. Let's go back from Durka, safe only good for one. That's the premium weapon. Out of play for Guild. I think you're absolutely right, Jess. I think we're looking right at split. Let's see if Guild can stop us from going there right now. Try and prolong their stay. Good kill from Trex, but Leo now thrust into the clutch. A one versus three needed for him to keep his team alive here. Their mind dreams, their map pick, their 2 0 dreams to top the group. Now out of the question if Leo can't clutch this one versus three. And we're near them. Finally, we'll start to come back in from long, but they're about to meet him headlong. And that is Dirk. Map. 30 seconds left. Well, it's a charge out A from Guild. Magnum will start the killing. Finally, someone has gone down. It's Magnum Shorty that's got the first. I love the wrist play. A little bit more aggressive from Safe, pushing in towards defender spawn. Trex is trying to wrap around the back side, but gets caught in a fight between two players, and he is spread too thin. Mystic will take him out, and now Guild have a disadvantage. But the spike is down. Coldamente has given away his aggressive stance again, and he will fall. And just like that, Fnatic have every single kill. They only lose one player. And, yes, and all of Fnatic are there waiting. Yeah, you're coming through one choke point into a Fnatic that is very ready to dispel your attack. Boaster's got the first, and it's just slowed entirely. Look at this, 15 seconds. Fish in a barrel at the moment. Guild, will they be fighting fish? Well, not likely. Urka and Mystic fry them up, and now it's just Trex left alone. We'll try his best, but it is 2 and 0 for Fnatic, and Guild really had a bit of spice about them in that. Dirk. Oh, oh my, okay. Russ on the elevated position. The ghost right now, so he's in a bad position now as he drops into the open. Easy shot for save. Flash going out for Boaster, trying to pull this round back. Be able to find one, and comes back oh, no. through the nebula, unable to follow up, and he's run out of ammo. Trying to get away, Brave comes in and helps him out. Running from Mendo. Mystic, let's call him to no, and while Trigger Discipline no. started well, but Brave's able to trade, and this numbers advantage back and forth, this is what Guild likes to do, and Fnatic knows best, missing the shots that I was just complimenting him oh, for, no. and the slow orb, they're gonna run out of time, the cover's good, but the grab wall's oh, better. The gravity wall. They didn't no, even get it didn't. over half. It's, done. it's not even over half of the time. It's gone. Call Dementor. He's won the round. The gravity wall sucks them right off. 
And with that, their chances for the round win. Charge the way down in close position, being spotted. Mystic gets cleared, hard cleared by Seth, who just charges forward on his lonesome. He's got into the back of the site. His teammates will now start to join him as he confirms its clearance. Durka. A rapid raise has been incredible in this agent in this series, but needs to start delivering impact here. Cold event up. It's down Brave. Two kills now in Guild's favor. They're yet to put the spike down though, and that could be a big problem here. Durka with one. Magnum and Boaster in a position where Boaster can wrap around the back, but Safe is so disciplined. He's ready for it. And Boaster gets aggressive into his cross out. And now puts Magnum into the one versus two, and he's read the he's read the flank. He knows there's a player coming around the backside and tricks. A nasty surprise as Magnum looks him right down the barrel. It's just one player left. It's Russ into the clutch. Quiet performance on bind. Will he get off to a lightning start Ooh. here? And he won't. Magnum won a clutch for Fnatic. Four kills. He looks down below. Leo behind in towards it? mid. He oh, can cut off that rotation. Nice. So looking good right now for this attack forward for Gil. That is so unlucky. If he had to pull it, pull it out, he's not. Brave says, you know what? Get on up, buddy. I'll give you a second chance here. I'll give you a second shot. And this is one of these rounds that will really tell the tale as to what it's going to be for both of these teams on this first half. Can Guild hold it together in a post-plan situation? And can Fnatic with their retakes really surprise? Well, here goes Durka. His showstopper puts an end to one. That's Russ, the victim of it. And now Trex is starting the psycho kill. <gasps> now follows up onto Mystic. This is good. And now Trex just swings into the site. Fnatic, they've got it done. Some therapeutical help after this. There we go. Here That's a go. nice start. That's not so good, but the trade is there. And this is the kind of team play and the numbers evening that we really need from Gil because they have that man advantage. And if they hadn't had that player there, that might not have occurred. And the bull this cold event uh, just about getting the gravity wall. Mm, the attacking side for them is historically poor. So that's something that they clearly haven't fixed thus far, but is not the end of the world because their wins do come from their defensive side. So we'll see. Oh, say, getting caught, pinned. You can gather some info off of this and actually gets caught. Oh, the nebulas work against him. The star is taken away, and that creates just a window of opportunity for safe to move in, and he plays it to perfection with Cold Dementor. And now they move forward. It's Magnum ready. They try and walk through the Poxy screen, but good luck doing that. Viper's pit being popped out as well. 30 seconds left in this clock and killed. You do not want to have to walk through a Viper's Pit, so they're backing off. They're leaving that and wrapping around, but they might just wrap back into Boaster, who's on the flank around the backside. Safe is taking down Brave, but just keep eyes on Boaster. If he had a better weapon here, Jess, I would feel much better about this, but it's a good old little classic. He's got to go for the headshot. Boaster, Boaster, please. And even that, oh. it's not enough. God, the trigger discipline was great. The shot's not so much. There's the weapon that you were begging for him to have. This is very yeah. possible in a 2v2 situation. There is... A lot of possibility. Magnum knows corners better than anyone else. He slight checks, but not full. Russ will shut him down. Boaster in a 1v2 situation. An impossibility, yeah, surely. One enemy remaining. Oh, he just flashed. He's found one already. He goes for the follow-up, but Russ will take him out. Go through that long position. Now they're forced into the ramp, and they have to charge through. Flash is going in. Durka gets inside of the cage. Finally taken exactly. down by Russ. When Russ is on the ropes, he's up with his teammates. They're trying to get forward here. They're trying to go to B. There's still two plays here for Fnatic. This might just be a massacre. Cosmic divides up, trying to give them a safe pass in, but Brave goes on the other side of it. And to his demise, Sif is just popping off. He's fighting everybody. And on the other side of the map, Poster can't do anything about it. And he is taken down by Trex. Oh, good peek out. Trex makes the hero play and nearly comes away with a double. I mean, the site is clear as part the showstopper. Can send that up toward heaven, and that is going to be perfect. Pixel perfect for the showstopper. Brave gets one before going down almost instantaneously. And Safe sends the paint shells up in towards heaven to hunt down Durka and force him wide into the fight. Mystic taking one. Durka on the follow up, and now Safe is thrust into the clutch alone. A 1v3 total for him. They've capped the spike, and that is going to cause a little bit of pressure here for Safe to swing. And that's exactly what Mystic intended. He He's really getting more than this. He's going to actually go around the backside of the showstopper, stands it into the corner, ends up taking a kill on Trikes. I love that. Not sitting back, not letting himself just get picked out of the round. And Brave, it's a valiant attempt. It's a, it's a nice idea, but it hasn't worked out from the rope. Instead, he's lost his life. So that kill now lights the 
Player count back to the 4v4. Problem is here, Jess. 20 seconds left for Guild. They have to go into Mystic. Yep, we know the Guild loves to leave it to the last second. Spy carries being killed, so they have to pick it back up. The player goes down, and as he does, he gets knocked down. And uh, Durka, oh, that's not off. what you intended, but that's okay. He gets himself oh. out of dodge, and the Bulldog, we keep saying it bites hard, but it bites hardest in the hands of Durka. Starts to wrap around the backside, and... Now his position spotted. He spotted out his opponents as well, but no more spotting for him as he no longer has eyes to be <laughs> shot out of his head. Gruesome picture there, Dinko. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I do that to Ryan mm -hmm. sometimes, and he's uh, he loves it. Let's go around the back side. Pinchell's trying to clear out defender spot. It's worked out. You know, from the grave, it's still Durka who comes on up with a kill, and Fnatic hold the advantage because of that. See if they can get back in here. Trek's starting to figure out, oh, they could be playing from back long. And in fact, he would be correct in saying that because there are currently three players over here. Dealing with that is going to be significantly different. And uh, Trex has found one. He's found the follow-up for Evan Magnum. They found a couple. Now it's just Magnum left alone. The feuds are off. No time left. And Fnatic will have this round. That one was always having really good showing. And speaking of Durka, he wanted in, but Safe said, nah, get out. This is... Fnatic are about to hit. If safe goes down here, massive opening. And that's... He comes slowly into the nebula. Trex has no idea that he's standing right next to the enemy. And he'll get slapped oh. down by Magnum, who's having a magnificent game. Yeah, magnificent, magnificent Magnum. That's a tongue twister <laughs> right there. 19 seconds left. Around the backside is Mystic. He's found one and two. Big double kill. And Fnatic... More smiles. That's what we like to see. Good mentality on Fnatic has... Eight. And this is going to help Guild. There goes the Cosmic Divide up for Fnatic, just trying to allow them to cross into the site and Boaster. He is playing with the time very closely right now, and they need a kill. Magnum is the player to get Trex, and that's the player from the site gone. And Fnatic now get on towards the site and will have to commit to the plan. Sticking it is Magnum. Fnatic now have the spike down. Leo with one, but Boaster trades it out immediately. Leo and Safe come in for two. And it's just Boaster left in the clutch and just one more to buy. Boaster's done it. Leading by example. 11 rounds for Fnatic. Flash going out to the left side. Swings into the fight itself. Cold immense out. Completely caught by the flash as Boaster opens up for the first kill of the round. I love it as well because... Boaster made so much sound on the other side of the map. Everyone was looking towards him. Everyone could hear him. And as a result, all they really wanted was a bit of a bait and switch. Look over here. We're going over there. Bit of a magic trick as well. And they're able to get the plants. Yeah, they're going to try to get into the site. But here comes Gurkha. Showstopper to end the show for Russ. And just safe left in the one versus four. He realizes this one cannot be completed. This round has reached its conclusion. And it will be 12 for Fnatic. Safe will even go down here. It looks like he will. And he gets caught. Durka with the 4k. Purchase is going to come through, but they are going to have some evident weaknesses, Jess. This is looking very good for Fnatic. Whew. Two talking points for us moving forward. One, not the carry Durka show. Magnum stepped up expert. Mail. Oster gets caught with a flash now, just needs to dive into ropes. Safe has sent out the showstopper to no avail and has to read the Boaster's push forward. He will. Sends the showstopper up into the top mid room and Boaster's taken out. Killed have the advantage, but for how long? As Fnatic have moved their way into the B site, Wall will go up to cover off defender spawn and funnel the remaining forces of Guild through heaven. Mystic's on the flank around the back, but Cold Dementor is wise to his tricks. He reads it, but can't deal with it. Mystic's still there with a headshot, and the number's now back at the 4v4. Bosa played yet again one of those, look over here, oh no, we're over there. Yeah. The distraction methods are so perfect, and Guild are falling for it time and time again. And in a round where they needed it more flash. than most, they're going to flash through the wall, and surely this is the retake that gets them back on track for this match. Well, Fnatic setup, look at it right now. They're in B-man and they're at the back of the site. It's so difficult to get in if you're killed. You can't deal with this call.